Are you ready to turn your game into a cinematic blockbuster? One simple trick used by AAA games will change the way you design forever. Stick around and get ready to be amazed. A quick disclaimer, every game's camera needs are unique. While we're exploring a powerful technique, always adapted to suit your game's specific requirements. Today we're unraveling the secret formula of cinematic game design, the rule of thirds. So what's the rule of thirds? Well, this is a masterpiece technique from filmmaking that balances your frame perfectly. It draws your eyes exactly where it needs to be, but guess what, it's not just for movies. All right, buckle up. We're diving into Unreal Engine, where I've got a couple of blocking levels from a game I'm currently crafting on. You'll see firsthand how the camera perspective changes the entire vibe. I'll try top down, third person, and finally the cinematic one third placement. Round one, fight. All right, let's begin with the top down. And the way you incorporate it is, uh, for me, I, I just go to the third person character blueprint and I place the camera at about 300 upwards, maybe 400. And you tilt the camera towards the player character about 30 degree. And you push it outwards a bit. So the character is in frame, of course. And you should just test it out what works for you. But you know, not every top down is of course the same. Uh, see what works for you, of course. You know, there's no good or bad. If there are many characters, uh, NPCs, or you know, enemies that you have to battle, you, you you just have to see them. You know, of course, it makes sense to have a top down or as wide as possible camera angle. You know, because you as the player has to see it in order to defeat the enemies. But is it cinematic? Yes or no? All right, let's go to the second uh, camera. Round two, fight. All right, let's go to another camera angle. This is the basic camera angle of, of uh, Unreal Engine. This is how you start with the character. It's a good camera angle uh, for uh, the game that you're designing, of course. It needs to serve the purpose, uh, comparable to the first uh, Witcher 3. But again, you know, as you can see, it doesn't have a cinematic feel to it. It looks good, of course. It comes a um, bit closer, but to me, it's still, you know, too much being revealed. Final round, fight! Now let's go over to the one third rule. And what I do is I place the camera as close as I can get it to. Not too close, of course. The Last of Us and Hellblade or The Witcher next gen upgrade, you know, they'll have a different distance towards the character so it varies depending on style and reference but what i do is always i put uh, 200 on the x about 50 on the y axis and about 40 on the z axis and of course you can change them to your will and desire if you want you can have a cheat sheet for the one third rule as you can see We've placed the character at one third of the screen. To me, it feels like either I'm the character or I am with the character because of where the camera is placed. The camera being placed like this, it just gives such an incredible cinematic feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Love it. You guys should try it out. Absolutely. All right, let's wrap this one up. The one third rule is a game designer's treasure. It's not just cinematic, it can change how players engage with your game. So go ahead, experiment and find the perfect angle for your masterpiece. If you thought this was mind blowing, you're gonna love what's coming next. Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the next game changing hack. I'm CR and I can't wait to see you in the next one.